what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i do a silk crest by myself at my house not spending like 300 dollars to get it done so if that's something you're interested in you should definitely stay like comment subscribe and let me show you guys how i do a silk press all by myself at my apartment so i want to start off by saying i normally wear my hair naturally curly but i've kind of gone away from that just because i'm not super knowledgeable in how to do my curly hair and i feel like I'm just damaging it even more. So I've gone back to wearing my hair straight for the past month now. I just feel more comfortable and I just feel like I know what I'm doing. So if you have any tips on natural curly hair, drop them below. I'd love to hear them. But today I'm just going to show you guys how I do a silk press by myself at home. So my hair is already washed and conditioned. So I start by parting it in the middle so it's easier to detangle. To detangle faster and cause less breakage, I definitely recommend and parting your hair into sections and of course depending on your length and thickness of your hair you may have to do more than four sections which is how many sections I'm doing so I split my hair in the middle and then I split those two sections into two more sections giving me four sections in total and I detangle starting from the back just so it's easier to access you want to start detangling from the bottom up this just helps with less breakage and I know a lot of people like to detangle their hair directly after the shower but I normally detangle my my hair while there's conditioner in it. I don't like to brush through my hair too much. So once I was done detangling the first section, I went ahead and put my heat protectant on there. I like to put this on before I blow dry instead of putting it on before I flat iron just because blow drying is heat. So I just go ahead and put that on my hair at the very beginning of the process. I don't put it on again when I start to flat iron it just because it makes my hair super oily. My hair type is kind of fine. So I don't like to put a ton of product on my hair which leads me to my next tip of make sure that you are not using the same brush that you detangled with in the shower for your blow drying process I learned that there is a lot of conditioner kind of built up on the brush and I had to learn that the hard way because once I finished blow drying my hair I noticed that it was kind of weighed down and it was because I had the conditioner still in the brush from the shower so I went ahead and just bought a new brush to have specifically for when I have no product in my hair and then I keep a separate brush for my conditioner or if I have a hair mask or anything like that so I highly recommend using two different brushes because that'll prevent having your hair weighed down with product and it'll help make it less oily so right now I'm just continuing to blow dry my hair I do the same thing to all four sections which is just spraying it with heat protectant brushing that heat protectant through to make sure it covers a majority of that section and then blow drying it with a brush and a blow dryer I found that blow drying my hair with a comb attachment just doesn't really get it as straight as I'd like it to, so I just use a brush and a blow dryer. So now that I'm done blow drying my hair, I like to give my hair just a little bit of a heat break. So I just throw it into a bun and let it sit for about maybe 10 minutes. Then I go ahead and start sectioning my hair. I section it in the way that I'm going to have it once it's done being flat ironed. Just because once I flat iron my hair in a certain way or a certain position, it pretty much just stays there. And I don't want to go in with heat again trying to part it in the way I'm wanting. So I recommend just parting your hair in the way you want it to be styled at the end. That way you don't have to add a bunch of extra heat so I go ahead and part it into four sections again the same way I did when I was blow drying my hair And I start with flat ironing my edges first. I don't know why I do this. It's just something that I've always done. So I went ahead and flat ironed just that edge piece first. And the flat iron was way too hot. Like you can see the smoke. It freaked me out. So I went ahead and turned that setting down a little bit, which is totally okay. You just got to figure out what works for your hair. But if you want to prevent heat damage, I definitely recommend turning that temperature down. I also like not having my flat iron super hot because I don't like my hair to be bone straight. I feel like it doesn't help 
help with having volume in my hair so I like to have the heat just down a little bit more so my hair still has some thickness and texture to it to get the perfect silk press you need to have a fine tooth comb it completely transforms your hair just making it so silky it gets rid of all those tangles as you're straightening it so I highly recommend that you add this into your silk press routine another thing I like to do as I'm flat ironing my hair is bump the ends a lot of people don't enjoy bumping their ends because it makes your hair appear shorter but I love it it just makes my hair appear a lot thicker it feels a lot healthier so I go ahead and just bump my ends as I'm flat ironing my hair that way I don't have to go over it adding more heat damage I just go ahead and do it as I'm straightening it So this is my first section complete and I'm gonna go in on the second section and I'm just doing the exact same thing I'm following it with my comb and I like to go over each piece maybe only two times just because like I said I'm trying to prevent that heat damage just in case I ever entertain going back to my curls and what I also like to do throughout flat ironing my hair is just going over every section but clump together just because I feel like it helps blend the hair together and it just helps me make sure I didn't forget about any parts that I may have missed. Another thing I like to do when it comes to straightening my hair is straightening my hair in larger sections rather than super small sections. Your hair will definitely be a lot straighter if you do decide to do a super small section, but I like my hair to just be thick. I don't like having super bone thin straight hair. I just feel like thin straight hair, I just feel like it gets oily quicker and I just like to have a little bit more body to my hair. So I like to flat iron my hair just in bigger sections rather than doing it in super small sections and this honestly gets the process done a lot quicker as well while still having a voluminous look which is what I like so this is the finished look I am obsessed it is super shiny and super soft I love it out it's like girl and then I just curled these two front pieces to kind of frame my face a little bit better and I will probably end up curling all of this but this is the finished look Super shiny, super healthy. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!